We got an external one terabyte SSD. What's going on guys? My name is Chris. I'm back with you with another unboxing and review video. Very small box, external one terabyte SSD by the company Rav Power. They do make a couple different models. They make a 512 and a one terabyte. What's really nice about this is I got an older Mac, but when I travel, I still have to make my YouTube videos. I still have to film. I have three channels, two other ones besides this one. They're always linked in the description box below. And I like that it's external, no need to install install anything, plug it into your computer, and you are good to go. SSD, if you're not familiar, super fast, super reliable, super durable. And just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box right below the video is gonna be this exact same link for this external SSD. You guys in the UK, if they do sell it in the UK, I will have you guys linked below. If not, one very similar to it. So again, look for those links below. Let's get it out. Let's run it through the test runs. We call this Fireside SSD unboxing. Pulling on the bottom there. There we go. Very simple. I like the product packaging. Let's set this down for one second. We got a thank you card. Manual is right here in the interior portion of it here. Shows you how to connect it in the manual using with Android devices, Mac or PC, using it with an iPad Pro. And here are some specifications that might be very important to you guys right there. You guys can pause this. Talks about the compatible systems, Windows 7 or higher, Mac OS 10.12 or higher, or Android KitKat version 4.4 or higher. It supports those files down below. Data transfer speed is 540 MBS, and dimensions are very little. Interface Type-C port, USB 3.0, Gen 2, 10 GBPS, backwards compatible. And if you are wondering, in the facts section, it says that the SSD drive cannot be used as a system startup disk. That might be good information for you as well. So let's go ahead and look at it here. It looks great. All right, so we got our little packet up here. Let's go ahead and get this out first. And then we're, of course, going to be getting to the SSD drive. So in the little box right here, right off the top, we have our soft cloth pouch here for travel, set that down for real quick. And then also in here we have our two different cables, which these both are gonna be pretty short. They're probably gonna be about a foot a piece. This is type C to a type C cable there. Next one is also gonna be about a foot in length as well. And that is a USB to a USB type C. Coming to the hard drive now, you can save that case if you really want to or throw that away. But you do again have your little travel bag here. Plop that guy on in, tie the drawstrings, throw that in your backpack and away you go. The input voltage, we're looking at five volt, one amp. Feels like an aluminum shell right here. Coming around to the type C input, looks like a LED indicator light right there. And all the way around the edges here. And then on the front is a really cool kind of a shiny material there. Almost has a little texture finish to it too. That's pretty cool guys. Again, super thin. Here's the size of my thumb compared to the width of it. The dimensions were just on the page that we just saw, but that's a really cool looking external SSD drive. All right, let's go ahead and connect this and see how she fires up. Well guys, I plugged it directly into my Windows 7 computer. Unfortunately, it did not recognize the Rolf Power SSD drive, so I actually had to assign a letter to the drive in disk management, which was really simple to do. I actually made a separate video about it on my channel. But once I applied the letter H to the Rolf Power, then it showed up. That's just a little heads up for you if you are using a Windows computer and you plug it in and it does not show up in your computer. Once that is fixed, we're good to go. What's great as well is the RAV Power SSD has an encryption, 256 bit security encryption that you can set up here. Once you put the password in, it will give you access to the SSD. It's working great on my Alienware Windows 7 computer, but of course also can be used for your MacBooks as well, your Apple devices. So upon starting my computer for the first time today, this popped up. Because I have set up a password, once I do enter the password, it'll give me access to the hard drive. Every time you access it, it won't come up like this, but for the first time you do access or try to access the hard drive, the security password will come up. But once you do enter that again, you will have access for as long as your computer is on. I don't think there's any default setting after four hours, you have to redo it. And once it is unlocked, it will actually say how many 
many gigs you have left. And so I got 949.78 left. Now it is a one terabyte, but it does take up quite a bit for some software information on the SSD. So you're not getting a full one terabyte. Let's look at the settings real quickly here. We have safe mode on. You can turn that off if you want. You can reset the password right here as well. You can eject the SSD for safe remove. Let's go ahead and just click off of that. Go to my computer. And here we are, the RAV power is my H drive looking fantastic. Of course, you can put all your coordinated little folders there. You guys get the idea. Lastly, the SSD drive has a one meter shock proof to it, a three foot shock proof if you did drop it, and has a premium heat sink as well. Again, that nice piano finish on top with the logo on the back. Guys, again, look for your link in the description box below the video where you guys can read more about this one terabyte SSD. They also offer the 512 as well. That will again be linked in the description box below. Thumbs that video up if it has helped you make an informed decision. Great SSD, use it for your devices. Subscribe on your way out, guys. We'll see you on the next one. My name's Chris, take care for now, bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. We'll see you soon.